People want to find peace immediately. And this is where people don't like me. I don't believe that shit. You can find it through fucking yoga and all this other bullshit. I stretch out a lot and I believe in yoga. Oh, this is great, but you ain't gonna find it in some fucking room. You're gonna find peace from going to war with yourself. Cause we all got shit. We all got shit. People look at me. Every, the reason why my story resonates with people because I don't hide. I'll tell you exactly who the fuck I am. I will admit to it. People are great at hiding. So they want to just find peace. No, you gotta, you gotta take your shit. Fix whatever's fucked up in you. Don't just shove it under the rug. Fix it, and then you'll find some peace later after you fix some shit. So now, I'm realizing this. I go home, several months go by, and now I'm like, okay, here we are. It's time to be a Navy SEAL. Mm -hmm. I start calling these fucking recruiters, man. Mm -hmm. And when you're 297 pounds, and you have prior service, man, recruiters laugh at your ass, dude. 24. Right. You're... And so I'm fat, I'm right. out of shape, and, and I know this. and. So I finally, after two weeks of calling recruits, I found this guy named Steven Saljo. And Steven Saljo says, come on in the office. I walk in the office, he looks at me, and he's the first recruit that said, you know what? Damn, you're a big fucking dude, man. You wanna be a SEAL? I said, yeah, but he didn't give me the look of like, you can't do it. He gave me the look of, let's go weigh you. He weighed me, 297. He went through his little chart, started writing all this shit down. And he said, uh, you got a, a lofty, lofty task ahead of you. I go, why? He goes, well, this program that I was trying to get into, cause I, I was in the reserves. And I was gonna go from the reserve program to an active duty mm -hmm. SEAL. So this program was shutting down. And I was gonna be in the last class, like one or two classes left before it shut down. Mm. So I had about three months to get the weight standard. 100 pounds in three 106 months. 106 pounds. So the standard for a six foot one person back then, six foot, six foot one, I forget what it was, it was 191 and I was 297. So I pretty much said, fuck this, this pretty much can't work for me, man. This is impossible. So I go back to work spraying for cockroaches and I hit the mother load. Like I fucking, I hit the mother load of cockroaches, rodents and everything. And I, I go out to the, to, to the dumpster and these Animals, I was like, fuck, I go, I, I'm done. So I quit my job right then. I, actually, the boss had to come to my, I quit. The boss had to come looking for me to get the truck back. <laughs> I didn't even go to work again. So all these restaurants, I had the keys to them all, the fucking alarm codes. Mm. And so I had now started my journey. And so now I'm like, I'm losing the fucking weight. But my first run was, Four miles, that was my plan. As I'm driving the truck back home from quitting my job, I'm literally, I drive home, I get my shoes on, and I run a quarter mile. Come home, crying. You stopped after a quarter mile? Yeah, walked back home, because I was exhausted. Because I used to, you know, I haven't run in like years. Yeah. I, I remember back when I was 175. Yeah. Running was easy. I was one of the fastest runners in class. But now, it's just hard, man, I'm fat, I'm out of shape. And I was just defeated because now I was 175. I was in good shape. Yeah. And I got myself into a bigger hole now. Yeah. And now I have to, now I got to lose this weight and I got to take the ASVAB again to get in the Navy. So I got to take that, so I, I took that fucker two more times. Because the first time I passed it, but I had to get a 50 on mechanical comprehension. So there's like 10 different sections. Yeah. Had to get a 50, I got a 44. You can only get a waiver for five points. Hmm. So I had to take it again. And guess what happened? It's, it's in the book really well. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what happened. I take the ASVAB test and I took it. And now we, they have computers. Mm -hmm. Back when I took it the first time, it's like all like Scantron shit. Yeah. So now I see a computer. So now I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh, on the computer. So I take it and the sergeant in charge of the ASVAB test isn't supposed to tell you what you got. Okay. So I take it for my second time in my last time. They're not gonna let me take it again. So I'm now down to 215 pounds, I'm losing the weight, but now I take the ASVAB test for the second time to get in the Navy. As I leave, I get out to my car, and I'm like, this is my life, man. I gotta find out I got this fucking test. Cause usually it takes yeah. two days to get the results back. But they get them immediately. Once you, once you hit send, that, that guy gets it right there. So I'm like, fuck that, man. I go back in. I go, hey man, can you please 
He goes, man, this is fucking military protocol. I'm not breaking it for you. I'm like, people are still taking the fucking test. I'm like crying. I'm like, man, you don't understand what I've been through, man. I'm like, this is my life. Please, I'm begging this guy, please let me know what I got. So he scrolls through, he sees David Guy, and he goes, you got a 65. I go, great. I don't care about that. That was my overall score. I go, what did I get on mechanical? He goes, you're asking a lot for me, man. I go, please, man, like, I, I have to get a 50 on mechanical. He scrolls over, I got exactly a 50. I, ha, have you seen The Pursuit of Happiness? How that motherfucker, when he runs on the stairs yeah. and gets a job, and yeah. like, like your hair stands on the back of your neck because he worked so hard to get this shit? When I left that ASVAB, and I, it's nighttime, I'm getting my car, it felt like that. Something came up, it felt like I truly accomplished, even though I passed it before, but now I know I'm all in. That's good for me to hear, for people to hear, because I have a hard time picturing you celebrating anything. Of all the things you've accomplished, you celebrated that. You know what's funny? I haven't celebrated since then. Because I needed that to start the war. Wow. Without that, the celebration was I can start the war now. It wasn't that I won the war. Mm -hmm. I can start my war. That's what made me, that's what I haven't celebrated since, I'm, I'm always in that battle. Yeah. I have peace, but I'm in this battle every yeah. fucking day. Yeah. So I got to 50, I can start war now. I'm down to 215, I have about another month to go, or whatever it is to fucking lose the weight. I dropped the weight, I'm in SEAL training now. The war now can begin. And it does. And that's what I talk about, man. Mm -hmm. like, like life is not a movie. It's not a movie where you have one breakthrough and like you're just taking off. No, man. The world is not like the movies. The movies aren't real. They, they don't exist. But you do. And life, this life, is it's better than any movie there is. Movies are supposed to provoke emotion. They're supposed to make you feel something. But I have a better idea. Go out into the world and actually feel it. Go feel joy and love and triumph and rapture and ecstasy and glory go feel those things and you know with those feelings there will be other feelings as well there'll be sorrow 